Hello you beautiful people of the world, this is your friend Kevin on this Wednesday the 22nd of March 2023 and this is your card of the day. Okay so we're using Guardian Angel Messages Tarot again today by Radley Valentine um, and images by Dan Craig so we'll get right to it. Loving Father in the Sky, Wonderful Mother of the Earth, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides and all those of the light from all corners and all realms, thank you for stepping in where you've always been. It is my great pleasure to be your messenger of your wisdom, of your love. Bring us a message today of hope, of love, of clarity to send us about our day. Thank you for being with us in all ways and in all things. So be it, and so shall it be. All right. Looks like it's going to be another three-carder today. One popped out as I was shuffling. Maybe it's messy shuffling. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. Um, let me just close my eyes. Not that you can see. Let's go with that one. Oh, six of fire. Um, hang on one second. Let me pull this down so you can see it. All right. So uh, this is the card that popped out. Let's see. If it's a major which it is not, it would be kind of like the significant energy of the day. But we've got two here. Well, it is the lovers, Major Arcana, and hmm, we've got Archangel, well, I would say probably Joe Fiel right here. And maybe it is uh, because of the green sash, I might even want to say it's Raphael. But this is about emotional healing and emotional choices and the coming together of great relationships, great collaboration, great partnerships. And then the six of fire. Success, recognition, self-esteem. This woman is holding her staff up with the crystal over the top and she's just shining her light bright, bright, bright. Below her is one, two, three, four, the five. So I'm going to basically suggest when I'm looking at this card and I'm getting the energy from spirit, this is to say you've done the work, you've come through or are going through a pretty successful change. The sixth number is it's all good. Everything's working. Everything's coming together. You've got a way to make things work. The five would be a learning number a challenging number a number of change a number of transition a number of where you are right in the middle of the old coming into the new and we just sort of went through that we've got a brand new moon in the uh, sun side of Aries so that's also a fire sign we are now we've just kind of come through the archway of the uh, spring equinox so again we're in this gateway of change, this gateway of new, the gateway where the roots are on the ground and they're spreading out and the shoots are coming up. So this lover's card and this six of fire card, look at it, it's both six, both six. You know, I'm going to go to my angel numbers book um, over here. Oh, and I'm going to look up. Now, this is Angel Numbers by Kyle Gray. And I'm going to look up the number six for you to see, well, what is exactly the number six? What does it mean in here? Um, Angel Numbers by Key Codex. Number six is balance, intention required, and carefulness. Mm, I want to say really that this number six is truly about transformation. Um, and if I go into the book in deeper, it's take time to eliminate all that's blocking your joy. Follow what makes your heart dance. Well, this woman clearly, and that could be you, that could be me, could be any of us, is dancing. She's got her baton up there, crystal on the top and the angel wings right behind her, rolling hill. She's climbed the hill. She's at the top of the mountain. Right over here, trees in bloom. Everything is coming up. Everything is working out. You have to affirm today, everything is always working out for my highest good. Everything is always working out for my highest good. If you don't claim it, 
you can't possibly achieve it now look here we go we've now got the uh, archangel of the week archangel jeremiah and jeremiah is the one that does the life review the one that you go to for a little bit of forgiveness one that lets you transition from what was what did not work what has been offloaded what has been discarded you remember last week we talked about going through your cupboards going through your drawers going through your life moving out the way things that have been sitting there collecting dust you don't need them goodbye 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 bye 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 with these two looks like all that's been taken care of and you get to celebrate what is coming what you're about to be involved with new beginnings end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness so this card the wheel the letting go and moving forward is so important for these two now i find this quite interesting that we've got you know violet here with the lovers archangel raphael we've got six of fire probably archangel jophie or mixed with a bit of archangel ariel having accomplished something and then the wheel all going on all right i think this is excuse me pretty good card of the day don't you um i love getting your comments i love getting and reading what you have to say so let's see if we can find um well we can't find that other one i was going to find that don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe the numbers are going up we're at 232 which by a lot of people's standards isn't much but i'm loving this steady growth i'm loving how you're all commenting i have to say something real quick before i let you go i try to do my best to click on your comments and respond you know a little bit of spirit because i truly 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 do appreciate this little community that's being developed within this um youtube channel um i didn't know where it was going to go when i set it up but that's not the point it's going where it should go spreading light spreading love spreading joy all over the world there's a theory that i believe in the consciousness the vibration when we metaphysically um ethereally um what's the other word i'm looking for in in virtual reality hold hands around the world and mentally with your heart with your mind with your soul lift up that joy it doesn't feel quite as heavy quite as daunting quite as tough and when that network through your comments through your responses through your subscriptions passing it along when that network really gets going you'll be surprised how that energy affects those who are out there still not quite awake still not sure where they're going and while there is this brief little bit of the ego that starts to get kind of hoity starts to get kind of uppity Whew, that's a difficult one for me because i had to go through that tunnel of look i've got it all together what's your what's your excuse this mm, you know <laughs> that's a bumpy road uh it is just much easier and a lot nicer and a much kinder to kind of ride that mule if you will ride that that camel with gentleness with peace even though there are times and i've gone through it recently oh boy was that a lesson i didn't understand now i'm almost through the end of it i had to find it within my soul within my heart within me to be for the highest good of those who would shoot their arrows at me of those who would come forward and want to do me harm and i got some of those i had to be up for their greatest good i had to be up for their their light and it took like i was ready to say you know what this is what you deserve to have happen <laughs> after what i've done but it's not about me it isn't about me it's about when you've done what you've done out of love out of compassion 
out of pure joy, out of pure happiness, when you've done what you've done to lift your heart and hopefully the heart of other people. You did your job. You did it well. And there are unfortunately people that don't take the bat on and do it for themselves. You become their lazy boy armchair. You become their, you know, put upon. You become their do it, do it, do it, do it. Then comes the art and the balance of learning to say no. Learning to say, mm, this is enough. Learning to say, I think it's time to cut the energetic ties. Because there's a tiny little bridge between giving from the heart, from the love, and then enabling. And then you, your pot's getting empty because you've been given too much. And you're not giving to yourself. It's a really tough road. It's a human road. It's a human construct. And then comes that part to forgive yourself. To forgive what you may believe you did wrong, made a mistake, such a fool. That is not good things to say to yourself. And then lift up. Rise up. Understand that it's a person, people, places, situations, stories that come at you. They're there to show you how far you can go when you lift yourself up and allow yourself with the grace, the freedom of forgiveness and wish whoever it is that's putting you in a place of whatever that feels like on their path with love, with gratitude. All right, my friends, that's enough. I'm going to get off my soap proper. I love you. Thank you. And we'll talk soon. Bye.